Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. For today's topic, we're going to talk about the genetics. Ever heard of the phrase survival of the fittest? That doesn't mean only the slim and the fit survives. It means the stronger ones live and continue their legacy. Every living thing follows this phrase and we don't notice it. We find partners in life that are based on our standard and our children will continue to carry our characteristics or our genes. We haven't noticed it but the principles of genetics have already existed for thousands of years. For example, some farmers trying to cultivate more delicious crops or horse breeders who want to raise faster horses are already practicing genetics. They would only select the best horses in each generation and let them mate. The offspring now have the combined genes of their parents. Years later, Gregor Mendel researched genetics and then he was named the father of genetics today. You may have some questions in your head at this moment, so let's answer it slowly to better understand genetics. Now first, what are genes? Well, basically, they determine what your traits are, like the color of your hair, how tall you are, and the color of your eyes when you are born and this information are passed from your parents' genes to you. Genes are the basic units of heredity. They consist of DNA and are part of a larger structure called the chromosome. Fun fact learners, did you know that we humans are all identical by about 99%? The diversity we see within the human population, including traits like eye color, height, and blood type is just due to genetic differences that account for less than 1%. Now going back to the topic, what are chromosomes? Well, your chromosomes describe what color eyes you have, how tall you are, and whether you are a boy or a girl. In other words, chromosomes carry some information that tells cells how to function and replicate, and every living thing has different ones. Chromosomes are made from DNA and protein inside the cell. Next up, what is DNA? DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. It is a long molecule inside the chromosomes that actually stores the genetic information. Now where can we find these chromosomes? Chromosomes are found in the heart of the cell, or the cell center, or the nucleus. Every living being has different number of chromosomes in each cell. We humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes for a total of 46 chromosomes in each cell. But don't even think that you can just see them. They are so small that we cannot even see them even with a microscope. However, scientists can see them using special tools. These chromosomes look like short little worms in pairs. When a cell is idle or not dividing for cell duplication, the chromosome is in its chromatin form. In this form, it is a long, very thin strand. And when the cell begins to divide, that strand replicates itself and winds up into shorter tubes. Although we have 23 pairs of chromosomes in each cell, each chromosome may carry different types of information. One chromosome may carry the eye color and height information, and the other chromosome may determine blood type. Genes are like the barcode in your grocery. Each barcode has a different sequence. Like if one barcode has a sequence that corresponds to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and other corresponds to 2, 6, 7, 4, 5, that tells you that they are not the same product. Now this is similar to our genes. The color of your hair could correspond to a sequence or arrangement of the structure of the DNA. Now this specific sequence of a gene, like the sequence that gives you fair skin color versus the sequence that gives you brown skin color, is called an allele. So people with fair skin color have the allele that makes the skin color fair. We know that we have 23 different pairs, and these pairs are from our parents. We all get 23 chromosomes from our mother and 23 from our father forming 23 pairs. These pairs are numbered from 1 to 22. The extra pair is called the XY pair or sex chromosomes which determines if you are a boy or a girl. 
Girls have two X chromosomes called the XX, while boys have an X and a Y chromosome called the XY. Also, take note that the determination of your gender is just random. Now, of course, we have different races around the world, and everyone could meet the other and fall in love. Mixed race people are not that uncommon anymore since we have freedom to live anywhere. But some races have stronger genes that take over the whole appearance of the baby. Like if the parents are Caucasian and an Asian, the baby might look more like the Caucasian. But that's for the races. Let's talk about them in the next videos. Now different animals also have different numbers of chromosomes. For example, a horse has 64, a rabbit has 44, and a fruit fly has 8 pairs, and many more. But all of these contribute to the survival of the fittest. So learners, now we've learned something about genetics and how we are actually all related to each other. So that's it. That is all for now. I hope you learned something today. Once again, this is Easy Engineering. Have a nice day.